my talk for you today is creating a safe and secure cyber world for kids by a kid. Today I'm going to talk to you about why should you teach kids about creating a safe and secure cyber world. But before we begin, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Who am I? I am Ruben Abishai Paul, but my friends call me Rapstar. When I was two years old, I was recognized as America's most beautiful baby. <laughs> When I was seven years old, I was honored to receive the title of being the youngest Shaolin Do Kung Fu Black Belt in America. Today I am eight years old and founder and CEO of Prudent Games Inc. We make entertaining games so that our customers learn while they play. Some of the games I have written are Cracker Proof, a fun way to learn about strong passwords. Crack Me If You Can, a fun way to learn about brute force attacks. And Shuriken Math a game where ninjas teach you math. When I grow up, I want to be a cyber spy. It all began when my first grade teacher asked me what you want to be when you grow up. And this is what I drew. This is me chilling out. This was my SQL injection hack going through the cloud. This is the firewall looking much like all of yours. And this is the other computer owned. <laughs> <laughs> Why should you teach kids about creating a safe and secure cyber world? First, because it's an unsafe world out there. We used to live in a world that was physically insecure with wars that were fought with bombs such as the fat boy. But today is equally insecure, or even more, because somebody with a fat finger could trigger a bomb even more deadly than the fat boy. We now also live in a world that is filled with new technologies and millions of apps which kids like me and your kids use. Here's an example of my little brother, Itai, busy on his business call. So with new technologies and millions of apps, you should teach your kids to use it carefully and securely. On a side but very important note, some kids have started to use these technologies and apps for bad, such as cyberbullying. So please talk to your children to see if they have been victimized by cyberbully before it's too late. I want to take a moment to thank the organizations that are making a difference for kids. IFC Square secure, Safe and Secure online program is great about raising awareness for cyber threats, such as cyberbullying, Roots Asylum, previously known as DEF CON Kids, and socialengineer.org, which runs the SE Capture the Flag by Chris Hagnagy. Another reason why you should teach your kids about InfoSec is because schools don't teach it. I personally think that schools don't teach it because they are not aware of its importance. It could also be because they think that all hackers are bad, which is not necessarily true. Any of you think I'm bad? <laughs> oh, and what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> Creating a safe and secure cyber world begins by teaching kids some basic security controls, such as strong passwords. We're going to play a little game. Can you guess my password? Oh. And there's a little clue in this picture. Tiger. How many of you all think it's Tiger? For all of you who just raised your hand for Tiger, has ju have just been social engineered by an eight-year-old. Because the clue I gave you was just a distraction from the real password. I love you too, but that's not the password. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Password? That's not eight characters long, so no, that's not the password. Yes, that's what I want to be on your systems, but that's not the password. So, since we couldn't find the real password, me and my assistant are going to demonstrate to you a password cracking tool called Hydra to find out for sure. After that, we are going to demonstrate an app I wrote with my dad called Cracker Proof. So, this, on your left, you would see an attack machine that is running Kali, and on your right, you'll see a victim, a victim machine running Mersplodable. So, 
Nmap will scan all the systems that are up and running so that we can hack it. So for that, we need to see the IP address so that we can use that to uh, scan all the systems. So our IP address is 192.168.56.102. But we don't want our systems, right? So we're going to do 1-24, which is going to scan from 0 all the way to 254. So we found 192.168.56.100, but that has no ports or filters open. So that's so we can't really hack that. But 192.168.56.101 has so many ports open, like SSH for Hydra, HTTP for SQL injection in cross-site scripting, and so many more. So we are gonna, as I said, we're gonna do an attack called Hydra dash H. H is for help. So Hydra dash L, the username is the MSF admin dash P, the password list is IC square password list, and the protocol is SSH, and the IP address is 192.168.56.101. Dash V. So, our password, so it, MSF admin with the password admin, uh, so it tried MSF admin with the password ad MSF admin with the password admin, MSF admin with the password tiger, MSF admin with one two three four, MSF admin with I love you, and so on. But as you can see, it says 192.168.56.101. It login is MSF admin and password is the Kung Fu Kid. Just to show you that that is the real password, we're gonna try to log into that system. So we are typing the IP address so that I'll ask for the password. So the password is the Kung Fu Kid. Well, you can't see it because it won't show the password. But now it says Metasploitable instance, right? So now we have complete access to that box. It's game over for that box now. We can do anything we want with it. But just to show you that we are on that box, I'm going to show you the IP address of it. Now our IP address is 192.168.56.101. So as I said, the second demonstration is going to be an app I made with my dad called Cracker Proof, a fun way to learn about strong passwords. What is a password? A password is a secret word or phrase that is used to get access to a system. It should never be exposed. So basically here, it explains what is a password. Now, for those of you who don't like to read, you can turn on the narration button. Strong passwords. A strong password is one that is not easily exposed. You will now learn how to create a strong password. And those of you who like to have some music while you read, you can turn on the music button. <laughs> Follow the instructions on the screen to learn about creating strong passwords. So, here it says, enter your name in the username field and that same name in the password field, and then click the check password strength button. As you can see, there's seven steps, and we are gonna use an example. Uh, we're gonna use a name of a person, and that name is gonna be Hode. This says, this password is weak for the following reasons. It's only, it's the same as the username and it's easily guessable. Enter the word cat, all lowercase in the password field, and then click on the check password button. This, so as you can see, the gauge on the left has increased a little bit more and that the password is, but the password is still weak. It's only three characters long, it's not, it's not, um, ha doesn't have any capital letters, symbols, and uppercase letters, and so on. And it's easily guessable when it's in the dictionary. Now, step three, it says, that put in kitty cat. Kitty cat is, the gauge increased a little bit more, and the pa but the password is still on the weak side. So as you can see, the password is increasing every time. And then for step four, it's kitty cat with capital K, 
set for five. I'm not going to do all of these because it would take a long time, but this is how you play the game. So step six is K1TTYC at sign T. So that has a little bit of symbols and a little bit of numbers, but it's still, but it's pretty strong. But after you see that, step seven of seven is the strongest of all because the word kitty cat is kitty, still kitty cat, but it's in all types of numbers and letters. So the word kitty cat is K one T capital T four for Y C at sign for A and seven for T. This password is strong for the following reasons. It's not easily guessable. It's not in the dictionary. It contains letters and alphabets. Uh, numbers and it contains symbols and so on. So I want to thank my God Jesus Christ for the gifts he has given me. I want to thank the organizers of this conference, especially Ho Tipton, Jesse, and Amanda. And in a closing thought, together we can create a safe and secure cyber world. My contact information is ruben at prudentgames.com. Please contact me at this email address if you want to invite me to your next talk. Any questions?